this is our problem statement for calculating heat integration using hint software so our first stream um, the t1 and t2 the temperatures will be like vary from 180 to 75 and mcp value is 30 and uh, second hot stream is 240 to 60 40 and uh, c1 and c2 these are the values so now we are going to calculate these uh, using the hint software so this is the software and uh, here when we click the streams and add and in the dis description we just type h1 for the first hot stream the supply temperature for this is 180 and the target temperature for this is uh, 75 and uh, since we do have uh, mcp value we just have to click mcp and the uh, value we just have to enter is like 30 and this is a hot stream and the heat IP is the sensible and for a second hot stream we just have to add that and type h2 and supply temperature is uh, 240 and uh, the target temperature is 60 mcp value is 40 and then click add here next we do have cold stream which is c1 the supply temperature for cold stream is 40 and the target temperature is uh, 230 and zp value is 35 so this is a cold stream and the heat type is sensible then add another uh, stream which is c2 the supply temperature for this is 120 and the target temperature is 300 and the mcp value is 20 and then click ok here you will get the grid diagram grid diagram on the bottom the data which we have given now on this left side we do have composite curve and the data for uh, h1 stream you can select stream 1 stream 2 so the data which will it will give here so then the enthalpy calculation and heat type everything it shows the left side so then we just have to go to composite curve and if you want you can edit you want you can change the width and height so it shows this this is the hot streamline and this is the cold streamline so the distance between these two lines the vertical lines uh, is the delta t minimum and from here the hot streamline it ends uh, at the point uh, at 240 it ends here and uh, from here the cold stream so it's not giving any um, uh, no stream is available for cold stream from here to here so we just have to give some utility for cold stream and same as uh, for um, for cold for heat um, for heat stream so it doesn't have any um, uh, stream available uh, from here to here so here yeah, the utility will require for both hot and cold streams so after that you can just see uh, the pinch values or caskets you can just go to the caskets if you go to the caskets it shows uh, uh, the minimum heat requirement and the minimum uh, uh, cooling requirement so it will show here and uh, 
shows the minimum temperature difference delta t and the heating duties cooling duties and the inch temperature at 175 for these uh, data will require the minimum number of heat exchangers which are seven so this and uh, we can we can calculate the area targets also for a uh, hot stream h1 uh, the heat transfer coefficient is 2 and for the utility if the heat transfer coefficient is same and the temperature is 315 so area targets we can calculate the area targets so we can just change the streams also it will still it's showing the two heat transfer coefficient so it's not varying anything so so here the utility is varying for, for heating and cooling so it's varying so it shows the cost also utility number heating and cost so the operating cost the capital cost everything it will show here for heating utilities So you can see the above pinch and below pinch data here. So area targets and diagram above pinch and below pinch, pinch temperature. So since our temperature, the minimum temperature is 10, I just click 10. So it shows like this. So minimum number of heat exchangers. So it shows a uh, seven heat 